Okay, we are going up to the third floor of the Tower of Magi. We've encountered a number of blood mages along the way. They have been besieged by the abominations that have been coming out of the Fade. Um, well, abominations are people not coming from the Fade. Abominations are people who are possessed by demons from the Fade. Allow me. I could do that for you. There, uh, so there are blood mages. Then there are also the abominations, the blood mages that were possessed by demons, and they're fighting each other. So, I mean, just because there are blood mages doesn't mean that they like what's happening here. Now, I'm here to kill both of them, the abominations and any blood mages. I'm just not here to kill every single mage that I see. Any mage that's not using blood magic is, are uh, mages that I will not execute. It's begun. Oh, okay. One corpse, up, oh, two corpse. Ah. The dead are being raised, just like in Redcliffe. Wonder where all this rubble came from. I mean, how'd that happen? One of the things that I absolutely love about this game is the world-building aspect of it. There are a number of different war where uh, way the <laughs> number of different acceptable ways to construct a good story in a video game. There's a narrative concept, which is the storyline, which you can also, if you want, divide that down into things like plot-based story or character-based story, that kind of stuff. But there's another one that, that I like to refer to as world building. A fairly common concept that uh, people say, I think. And I consider world building to be the concept of... Oh, all these dead people. Huh. To be the concept of constructing the lore of the series. Like uh, this whole concept of the Circle of Magi. As well as all the other concepts, it basically creating a environment. Ah, oh, what the hell? <laughs> An environment for the world to exist in, and that is something that this game had done particularly well, in my opinion. This whole thing about the dark spawn and the rather deep background of the religion of this world. The whole concept of the mages and abomination. What the hell is that? A desire demon. Huh. There are various types of demons that could possess people, I'm guessing. And it's... I guess the uh, mages aren't the only ones that can be susceptible to this sort of... Um, Corruption, these charmed Templars. Despite being Templars, are fighting on behalf of the demon. It's time to kill the Desire Demon. Not that tough. Well. That wasn't that hard. Oh, oh, well, I forgot about that. In the end of, toward the end of last episode, I, I ran into an item. Now, uh, as you can see down, down at the bottom, you have various characters that have approval statuses. Now, we've discussed this before. Different 
dialogue options that you choose can have an effect on a character's perception of the warden. Alistair is still neutral, even though he has a plus 10 approval. Liliana is a little bit higher with an 11. And the dog is, of course, at, always at 100. But uh, not, it's not just dialogue choices that give you the approval, uh, improvement of this approval rating. There are also a number of gifts that you can give to people, like Chantry Amulet or um, Steel Bracers. I think that's just a generic gift. Small carved statuette is a gift that's good to be given to Alistair. The Rose of Orlay, however, is what I'm actually looking for. Now, since Liliana is a Lillian, you'd think this would be a good item to give to her. But it's actually a, an item that you give to win. And when you give it to a person, it improves their, improves their um, approval rating. Let's so check this out. Thank you ever so much. Increased it by 10, and now she's still neutral, because you got to be like above 70 or so to be higher than neutral, or whatever. But it's, um, we're at 10 right now. Now, I think the Chantry Amulet, that, I give that to Liliana. Although, I believe technically I can actually just give it to anyone. But it has the best effect when given to her. That's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. 21. Morgan isn't here, so I can't give her the her stuff I know she would use. Where is it? I could get used to this, you know. And the reason why you want to increase the approval is uh, twofold. On one hand, it um, it gives you more dialogue options and all that kind of stuff while making decisions and all of that. On the other hand, it also has the increased uh, effect, the other effect of increasing character stats. The more the character likes you, the harder they will fight for you, that kind of thing. Ah, uh, my inventory is filling up. I have a lot of crap, like crafting items I don't really like using. I'm going to eventually have to end up getting rid of some of that crap. High level abomination here. I'm going to have to kill that thing. Probably not going to be that tough. Yeah, uh, it probably would have been difficult had I not picked up the weapons that I did before I got to this point. Plus, Wynn, unlike Morgan, is actually a pretty good healer. Who's that? Chumps. Ooh, that's nice. Of course, it is a pretty significant increase in fatigue rating. But I'll allow it. Oh, you're a tranquil. They don't seem to be bothering the tranquil. Thank you. That was an uncomfortable experience. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess because the demons are interested in possessing people, which, in order to possess a person, they need to appeal to them in some way. It is begun. The, the Tranquil pose no benefits to um, 
to a demon in light of possessing them, because they have no desires or anything like that. On top of that, the Tranquil seem to be posing no physical threat, because they put up no attempt to defend themselves, or attempt to stop the abominations. So, the Tranquil are just sort of left alone. Very well. just instantly go and unlock everything. I shouldn't have to ask at this point. Come on, now. Oh, going the wrong way. Alright, here we go. Weird bubbly crap coming off of everything. It's nasty. Uh, everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Unhand him, foul demon. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. There's nothing loving or intimate going on here. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? Well, it ends here. What was that? Help! There are bandits at the door. They're going to murder the children. They will not get past me. Okay. <laughs> That was a little weird, but let's get to killing. Nothing terribly difficult here, only yellows and some whites. Guess someone doesn't really have to be an abomination so to speak, in order to be possessed. Or charmed. Very well. Hmm, I want that. Well, that wasn't the first Desire Demon that we've seen here, and probably won't be the last. Blood Mage, with the Possessed Templars. Well, that throws a wrench into what I thought was happening. Ah, uh, whatever. Yellow. Even powerful mages fall pretty quickly if you can get close to them. Very well. Oh, you suck. I even increased her uh, unlock skill, thinking that would be enough, but nope.
too much effort involved. Good. That will make this much easier to kill. Wait, right, hold on. Who is that man? What have you done with to him? He's just resting. Poor lad. He was so very, very weary. You want to join us, don't you? Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. Can't keep eyes open. Someone pinch me. I will not listen to your lies, demon. You have no power over me. Resist. You must resist. Else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on without you. Oh, crap. This looks bad. But, uh, make the best of it. Am I at Ostagar? Oh, hold on, bro. You're dead. Ah, there you are. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Wait, you should be dead. Dead? Me? <laughs> I have been close many times, but I never quite made it all the way. I just wanted to make sure you were happy here in Weissopt. These grand halls were built by the first Grey Wardens. Isn't it breathtaking? No, it's boring. You are unused to peace, but in time you will grow to love it. We need no longer fear the Darkspawn. You speak as though the Darkspawn are no longer a problem. The Darkspawn Damn it. Are gone, <laughs> remember? You were there in the last great battle. It was a triumph for all of us. Bringing down the Archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. If the Darkspawn are gone then we are no longer needed. The Grey Wardens shall be keepers of history. We shall tell tales and sing songs of a more tumultuous time, that others may rejoice in knowing that that time is past. That sounds utterly boring. I want no part of it. Foolish child. I have given you so much and you cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? You offer complacency, not peace. It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Well, that was unfortunate. Pricks. Alright, this is gonna take a while. <laughs>